Hi everyone, I just wanted to record a video just in case anyone's struggling with the same problem that I've been struggling with on two of my machines and that's struggling to install 1809 or the October update for Windows 10 known as the 1809 update. Um, I've just been going through, I had a nightmare trying to get this installed on two of my machines and I finally figured out why. Um, and I'll, I'll keep this video short because I know it's, a, it's dead annoying if you've got an issue and you just want to find a fix for it and some some idiots going on about like ranting away on, on YouTube but I do want to get this a little bit off my chest because it's annoyed me so much um, because it's like this is pretty much the first update to Windows 10 that I've really wanted because it does actually come with some nice features and I'm going to do a video on the features of it and and it, it is there's it, it some three features worth having still some massive things that I, I'd like them to do but but anyway that's beside the point so it is a, it, it is an update that I really wanted and it's just typical the first update to Windows 10 that I've actually wanted, and Microsoft fucked it up initially in that it was deleting people's files. Then they finally pushed the update out, and I've not been able to install it, so it's just been a, a nightmare all, all in all, really. So just before I start as well, this update addresses the error code. If you, if, well, if you, if you are getting an error, what, what I was finding is that Windows 10, it, the update was, I was using the update assistant as well, by the way. I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, because I want Windows Update wasn't coming up with the update for me, but I was running the Windows Update Assistant and it was getting to about 15%, and then it was just bombing out of the update and rebooting and saying uh, Windows is I can't remember the exact terminology, but something like Windows is unrolling or whatever, reversing the updates, and then it just took me back to 18 or three. Like I say, I can't quite remember the the terminology that it was using, um, and then the update. Uh, sorry, the error code is this that I was uh, that, that you see here, safe OS, and then these two numbers. I'll, again, I'll put these in the description. But to be honest, I probably should have mentioned this right at the beginning. But this update, uh, sorry, this fix only addresses an error if you've been using developer mode in Windows 10. If you've not been using developer mode in Windows 10, then it, this fix won't work. But if you have, then this is how to sort it out. And it, uh, like I said, I, I was struggling to do this on two of my machines, and I've changed it, and it's worked on both, so I, I think it definitely will work. Um, so if you just go into the settings, I mean, this is running 1809, I, I should add now anyway, but I, mean, I can still show you. So you just go, the first thing you need to do is turn off the... Um, the developer up uh, the, the 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 developer mode. So just going to update and security, and then come down to for developers. And I was running it in this developer mode because I was running the Linux subsystem for Windows. You know, there's various other what, reasons why you might run developer mode, but I had it in developer mode. So the first thing to do is turn it to. Well, on my other machine, I actually turned it to this side load apps rather than Microsoft Star apps. So I'm not sure. So I'd probably just do that because I know that definitely works. Microsoft Star apps will probably work as well, but that's the one that I chose that option. And just say yes to that when you do it. I won't do it on this because, like I said, I've already done it. Um, and then you do so once you've done that just turn it to sideload apps rather than developer mode and then you go to apps and then you have to uninstall the developer so sort of, I think it's just like a few utilities that it adds so you just come into apps and features and then you go down to manage um, optional features and then it's just down in here windows developer mode I mean it's not in here because I've not got it installed but you just just select it and then hit uninstall and then just restart your PC, and then you should then be able to install the update. Now, you should be able to pick up the update through Windows Update, but like I say, if it, I, it wasn't doing that for me, so I was having to go to um, use the uh, Windows 10 Update Assistant, um, and I'll put a link for that in the description. It's, it's dead easy to, to use. You just you basically just download it and then just follow the simple steps. Um, so I hope that helps someone. I mean, like I say, it only works if you run in the developer mode, but I guess quite a few people are. I know it's mainly for developers, obviously, that you'd be running that. But um, but anyway, if you are, and then you're struggling to install 1809, then I hope this helps someone. Okay, cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Goodbye.